So now in this video we're going to look at uh, these two power banks. They output 5 volts via USB right there. This one though, um, if I try to attach a load, does not turn on automatically. I have to press the uh, button. Um, this one does actually turn on automatically right there. And uh, so that's uh, 5 volts there. If we come over here, it uh, the yeah you can see the LEDs are glowing just a little bit. So um, ultimately my goal was to get uh, 10 volts so I could use a voltage booster with just uh, one of these and uh, we'd lose some of the energy in the process and they only output uh, 2 amps of current from each of the uh, outputs uh, maximum if, if that even and uh, so just much simpler for some reason when I connect them in series then now this one does uh, turn on. So you can see the LEDs are on. I'm just pointing them away. They're very bright and uh, they're blinding if you look at them in person and they wash out everything if they're facing the camera. But that's it. We just put them in a series. So we got the negative side of the LEDs right there and uh, the positive side to the left, the negative to the right. And uh, so we got the uh, negative of this one right there, positive of that one. And then we give a path for the voltage and the current to flow through uh, both of these power packs. So it looks like it's pretty easy to just connect them in series for a higher voltage. I would make sure though that you got a decent amount of resistance right there. Try to keep it below 2 amps of current. It may damage one. If it can provide more current than the other one, then it might build up a voltage in a bad way or something. Um, try to limit the current quite a bit.